Hi guys, so we're just going to review um, the sorts of things that you could do for your presentation which you're going to do um, in a few weeks time. It's really important that you personally show that you have engaged with this project. So for example, you remember in the project there were specific jobs. These need to be allocated to specific people. You will be responsible for somewhere down the line specific jobs. This doesn't mean that you'll restrict yourself completely to that job. You will be helping other members of your team with that job. So lots of students have said that they don't like talking in front of the class. That's absolutely fine. That's not for everybody. No problem. So what if you don't like talking in front of the class, what you can do instead is that you can play a video. So you can stand in front of the video and play a video. Your face doesn't even have to be in this video, um, but I would ask that your voice is in the video. That way that we can see that you've made a particular contribution to the group. So you don't have to do a presentation in front of the group. You can stand in front of a video. Here's a video that I did earlier. You need to think about value added to your projects. There are lots of ways that you can add value to your presentation, engage your audience. For example, um, you could give each member, uh, each student in the room your business card. If you want to do this, print off your business cards in advance and hand them out. The best time to hand them out might be before you start your presentation. Three ways sustainable. Remember that you will have to show that you are sustainable in three ways. That's a social, environmental and economic. And it's only once you've got those three aspects together that your project will be properly sustainable. Introduce the team. Like we said at the start, it's very important that you um, take, you show that you have individually contributed to this task. So somewhere in your presentation, and again this can be done with a video, um, you need to introduce the team, the specific job roles, the specific job descriptions of each person in your team. If you don't like talking in front of people or there are members of your group that don't like talking in front of the class, again, you can do this as a video. You can record the video, introduce the team and just play that video. Be very, very clear about your unique selling point. You need to be very specific about this and this really forms one of the important core parts of your project. If you don't have a good clear USP, you will not get funding. And it really is as simple as that. Refer to other projects. Um, you want to look at successful business models both here in Hong Kong and the rest of the world. Business models that you can emulate. You select the best ideas from other business models. You put these ideas together to create your own business plan. Having said that, you do need to go local. You must use the local character, the resources, the scenery, the community, the people, the infrastructure, the roads, the buildings, as far as possible. If you do not do this, you will not get funding. And certainly if you do not do this, you're not going to be environmentally sustainable, you're not going to be socially sustainable, and you're very unlikely to be economically sustainable. So unless you go local, your whole project will collapse around your ears and things will not be very good for you. I would suggest very strongly that you have a project booklet. At the end of this, you might, at the end of your presentation, you might want to give each group one A4 bound project booklet. You can also submit this project booklet to the Google Classroom. Um, this is your idea, this is your opportunity to expand further on your ideas and just absolutely prove how much hard work that you've gone into this. You probably won't be able to show that um, just with a purely with a five minute presentation. So this is a group booklet, um, certainly something that is something that I would expect to see uh, with the Google Classroom. But a really nice touch would be one nice copy bound for each group, which you can hand out at the end of the presentation. Um, just think, if you're the only per if you're the only group in the class to do this, how it's going to make your competitors feel? How much better you're going to look in front of your competitors if you're the one that's got the business card and you're the one that's got the project booklet to hand out? 
Easy bib and acknowledgements. Let's be really clear about this. You do need to easy bib. Simply adding the URLs is not enough. You do need to easy bib. Um, if you don't technically in academic terms and in business terms, you are cheating and you will be ch accused of cheating, which is very, very serious and certainly implications for your business are very serious. The bank will have nothing to do with you if you're not an ethical organisation. You also need to acknowledge by name any people or organisations that have given you specific help and, and, and assistance. Both of these are things are very important. Um, they are the correct thing to do, but also they show that you're an ethical organisation, are well organised and do deserve the funding. Guys, really excited by this project. Um, I think that you have worked really well on this. Um, really pleased with your levels of motivation and your ability to get the task done um, without my direct help. So absolutely fantastic. Exactly those sorts of skills that we would expect an Ireland School student to display.